granut and I used to eat granut a lot. And then I shared the granut between me and my children. And then after sharing the granut, my own quantity was higher, very much higher than theirs. And then as I went to prayer, and then I knelt down and said, Lord, search me, O God. I know my heart. See if that be any wicked way in me. And he said, but the granut you took is a lion's share. Your children need it more than you. And I began to repent. And from that day, no more like that. I don't know those of you. You get something. If your child touches it, who told you to touch it? Who told you to touch it? And then you will grab it from him or from her. And you go and hide it. And remain in the room and eat it alone. And we say you are going to heaven. Who told you? Search me, O oh God. And this person said, What lack I yet? But with a wrong notion, wrong mind. I have kept the commandment from my childhood. I don't think I lack anything. And Jesus Christ said, eh, You don't lack anything. Oh, yeah? Sell what you have. To prove to him that you lack something. And the thing was difficult. For him to do and ever moved. Now, I will tell you just one thing that watchmen lack. Eh? And you go. Well, one malady. One great leprosy. In the midst of all the lacks, many lacks that we are going to show in the course of the teaching that I am developing. But I'm going to tell you the greatest, that is the one that is leprosy. This morning, and I'm done with it. And uh, listen, we have come to the point and to the time when you must not take what you are hearing lightly. Listen to me. I am 67 plus years. Last July, I was 67. And then, next July, 68. And we are arriving it. And it remains three, two more years, and now two and a half, to be 70. Now, I've been asking the Lord, at 70, what will I have achieved concerning this ministry? At 70... Listen to me, if not for the argument that I'm making, do you see that the people are 70 that are becoming almost useless? All the people? Don't you see the people are dying at 50? And dying as the ones that reached 60, they are even rejuvenating. And uh, two and a half years more, I will hit 70. And I keep asking the Lord, what about the ministry? What about the vision? Has he been uh, executed? So, I am in a haste this time around. And I need people that have understanding. I don't need multitudes of people. I need people that understand what I am saying and the key to it. They are the people that I need. Are you hearing me? They are the people that I need. Did you see somebody? And when I read it, I was to shed tears. And he meant it. And he refused 1.3 million per month. I don't make that the offended. I leave this school and go to end that thing. And then I mortgage my soul to the things that are happening in that rock. And his members of his family, that his family, now kicked. And he said, you are, you are kicking doesn't mean anything to me. And yet he's suffering. Now his suffering has come to an end now. These are the people I need in this ministry. And I am telling you the truth. They are the people that I need in this ministry. People that will become, that will understand the ministry and then, and then have a proper understanding 
of where they are and know the what of the ministry. Actually, the malady of watchmen in their various categories is not knowing the what of the ministry. You don't know the what. They have not been able to score it. And that is the reason that the rest of the things are, 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 are following. That's the reason. I'm going to show a few people that had a, know what they were doing. And then I show you what they did. And I'll close. I said, what do we lack yet? I said I have only one point. Not knowing the what of the ministry. Well, let me tell you my story before I go and read. This man that you see, I never set my hand on a thing and did not do it perfectly. Unless I didn't want to do it. And did not do it to the admiration of people. There was no such thing in my life. That was my nature. Are you hearing me? If we go to farm to cut the bush. Listen to me. As I enter there, unless, unless I didn't want to. If I didn't want to, we were going to struggle. I'm going to struggle with my mother. But if I now s accept to do it, listen, when we come back, she will cook special food. That's the truth. So, from time immemorial, I happen to be somebody, if, I give, if you, you give me something to do for you, I do it to the best of my ability and you'll be thanking me. And so when I became a Christian, I just followed that way. I told God that I was not going to go haphazardly. And in my private prayers, I used to quote before God a man in my village. And uh, I quote what the man did. That man was, I have used this uh, illustration many times. That man was uh, the masquerader. And uh, eccentric one. Uh, that is the, what you can call, I don't know which qualification I'm going to use. That is the perfect one in the thing. The highest. The more, the more, the more enthusiastic, the more zealous. I, whatever be adjective you can use to qualify somebody that is doing something and then super, superbly, that is the man. And this man entered the masquerade naked. Those of you that are from my area, you know what I'm talking about, the kind of thing that I'm talking about. And they use a lot of juju in the something. A lot of talisman. But while he's inside it and causes a tree, that tree must wither. This is truth because of their, their occultism, high occultism. Listen to me. This man, I've talked about it. I used to tell God. I have gone to his house. Ordinarily, he's a very soft-spoken person. You wouldn't think, he wouldn't, he would behave as if he doesn't kill an ant. You get to his house, his parlor, you see wasps. W A S P. In their bunches, the line this way, the line this way on the ceiling, the line that way, the line that way, bunch by bunch, in line, throughout the ceiling. Of the parlor. If you come there into that parlor with medicine to attack him, 
all those wasps will come out. If you don't run, they will kill you. I am not exaggerating. No exaggeration. No exaggeration. They used to hire him, Omuma, Nempi, Akata. And now he used to make a statement, told you that. And I will bring that statement to God in my prayer. He used to make a statement in when he enters the something. And I say it in the language he says he used to say it, and I will translate it in English. That means you want to do something, you don't want to know it to the fullest, you want to do masquerading, and you don't want to do it to the fullest. Now you should die prematurely. He was boasting inside the thing that he is not that kind of person and listen to me if this man went to where the masquerades from all the towns are gathered but he was not in the masquerade he just came in his uh, bicycle all those masquerades will take to their heels or you'll find some that will stand still unable to move he took pleasure in his occultism, high occultism. So I came to the Lord and I said, the Lord, did you remember I call his name? Look at what he said. How can I know this thing haphazardly? Shouldn't I die prematurely? Did you hear what I said? Time after time, I was telling the Lord, if I should know about Jesus, about going to heaven, about evangelism, about ministry, after I've gotten to ministry, if I should know it haphazardly, I should die prematurely. Because I cannot see how somebody using occultism and, and killing people should say, I, I cannot do it haphazardly. If I should do it haphazardly, let me die prematurely. That is the reason from time to time I came to the Lord asking what lack I yet. I'm still asking it. What lack I yet? This morning I slept in the office just took excuse from my wife. I've been there for three days. Then I I woke up, but I woke up late. But that was because I ate something late, which is not the rule for me. And then I knew that I have sinned. And I told the Lord, I'm very sorry. Then I, I looked into my Bible. And saw a piece of paper where I wrote a program that I said I was going to follow in this new year. And I called it Seven Hours in the Presence of the Mighty and Awesome God every morning. And I, I tabulated this, hour, this, this time to this time, so so, this time to this time, so so, beginning at every day at three. And ending seven hours later. And I found that I had not kept it. And I began to repent. That is how people who say, What lack I yet? That's how God shows them things. Seven hours. I am the person that decided it. At this age, I remember the woman that was 84 years. That they didn't depart from the temple, fasting and praying. Now I said, but I am only 60-something. I should be waking up seven hours. 
in the presence of God every morning. And then I was reminded this morning that you have not kept it. What lack I heard? The watchman lack a precision understanding of where they are. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 9. But what went you out for to see a prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, I'm more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, thou art not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Let's stop there and look up. Jesus Christ knew who John the Baptist was. He had great understanding and great appreciation. He had what is called, he put great premium on John the Baptist because of the ministry that John received. Putting or setting premium on a thing is holding that thing very extremely important and extremely valuable. If they say, put premium on a thing, set premium on a thing, it means they're asking you, put great value. See that thing as a very important thing and of, as a thing that is of great value. And Jesus Christ saw John the Baptist as a person that was unquantifiable. As a person that was that, that had a ministry that could not be compared to any ministry. And he said, I tell you, there has not arisen a greater than John the Baptist since men, since women began to be delivered of men. But I went and read you Isaiah 49. Verse 5 and 6. And I showed that the ministry, the two ministries are just the same. You say no. Can you argue it? The first person did what? Prepared the way and introduced him in the first coming. The second person is preparing the way to introduce him, to bring him down in the second coming. What's the difference? What is the difference? And if Jesus said that that man was not comparable to any prophet, then I, I, can, I make bold to say that he, he is saying that this ministry is not comparable to anyone. Now, if not, why did he say to me and said, go and read. He gave me some scriptures. One in Genesis 26, 13, 13. And the man was great and went forward and grew until the man became very great. Talking about me and you and the ministry. And then at another time, he pointed me to what happened when Saul was anointed initially. And then when, Moses, when Samuel came, he said, he said, See him whom the Lord has chosen. There is none like him among the people. None like him. His height in physical, in physique. Saul was towering up there and every Israelite, no person passed his shoulders. None like him. But this time around, it's not, it's not physique. Are you hearing me? Yes, it's not physical height. Because I, among the preachers, I am the shortest. But now, he was talking the other side. See him, whom the Lord has chosen. And there is none like him among the people. That's what the Lord said concerning the ministry, concerning me, concerning the ministry. And now the people, when they heard Samuel said that, they said, God save the king.
But eventually God didn't save the king because he backslid. But that is not our case. The, case, the point is, see ye him whom the Lord has chosen, that there is none like him. See ye, see ye a ministry which the Lord has chosen, and there is none like it. So, the watchman from top to bottom, except me, they have the bug, the malady, the leprosy. Some people, some people, and the leprosy is stage by stage. Some, it has, it has it conquered their flesh. In fact, the leprosy they have is the one that came upon from Miriam. All the body became white. Some, the leprosy is in patches. But surely, some, the leprosy is going. That is, is being healed. So, you spot yours. If I have time, I will show you. If you don't have this leprosy, I will show you what you will have been doing. But that will belong to another time. If somebody does not have this leprosy. Now, but let me show you that I don't have, I didn't, I, I refuse that leprosy. That is, you didn't appreciate, you didn't put premium on a thing that is invaluable and was given to you. No, I knew it was invaluable and I saw it as such. Otherwise, tell me what could have kept me in the Lord despite the things that the devil did against me people that didn't receive one over 1000 bucks lead otherwise tell me what could have made me to petition quantity surveying that I loved more than any food and more than anybody I was about to love it more than Christ. What could have made me to jettison it? What could have stopped me from my pursuit of professional qualification, master's degree, PhD? What made me to close the examinations without prayer? What made me to to go and build, go and build a bookshelf, a big bookshelf, and then pack, pack all my books and all the books I bought them from London bookshop, London building bookshop. I didn't buy any book from Nigeria. The only place I visited in those days was Odusheta bookshop. I don't know whether I picked any book from there. All my books, I ordered them from London building bookshop. And I wanted to be their agent while I was studying. And I packed all the books in every matter, structures, civil engineering, county surveying, everything. I packed them and built a wooden cover. Not a glass cover. Purposely. Because I didn't want to see the books again. Because they would attract me. They are still in the room there. At the head office. In that shelf. What on earth. Would have made me to stop. Nothing on earth. I said nothing on earth. I so loved education. But I had opportunity in 1958. To be a great merchant of nature. When I dropped down from standard five, because my mother has spent the school fees to bury my grandmother and told me to come out so that she could get money. And then 1959, I continued. And I went to my maternal uncle in Onesha, who was dealing in medicines that is, procaine, penicillin, and all those things. And I saw money. And I handled money. Within a week, I will sell 36,000 pounds.
But when the school year was going over, and then 1959 was wanting to turn in, I told my uncle, give me transport money, I want to go. He couldn't understand it till now. I didn't touch his dime. Give me transport money. I am going. Because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine myself not going to school. Did you hear what I said? I couldn't imagine it in this life. I had opportunity to be a great merchant. Now, but that thing that I eventually God led me small, 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 small. I got the much I got and want I'm preparing to go higher. Now something higher came. And there was no prayer. I was sitting one day and I was saying to myself, two things are before me. To qualify as a one surveyor, go to masters, this and that, become a lecturer. Now and this ministry is expanding. And then I was saying, I said to myself, one must kill the other. I was in the office of Jikapa in the afternoon and thinking, one must kill the other. And then I looked up. I said, this ministry must kill this quest. And that's the end. And I drew the curtain. Listen to me later on, I was tempted to, to go and renew and begin to write the professional examination again. But I said I had taken, I had, Psalm, in Psalm 15 said, if you have sworn to your heart, I have sworn to my heart, and no going back. Now, so that is the reason I, I said I am an exception. I know the worth of the ministry. Now, do you know the word of the ministry? Even with the things that we have said today, that does not have any comparison with the things that I have said. Let me show you two people, and then you can 